Back so soon? Alethea, I know I wasn't gone long in the Animus, but I couldn't wait. I've been thinking about whether or not I should let you continue, and I have my answer, but I'm afraid you won't like it. Don't tell me I can't go into the third simulation. I'm sorry, Layla. I made a miscalculation, and I factored you in when it was a mistake to do so. I see that clearly now. It's time for you to leave Atlantis. You can't do this. Not now! I've seen Elysium and the Underworld. You can't take that away! If I'd known this reality would go the direction it did, you wouldn't have seen any of it. You're too human. Your DNA has succumbed to the corrupting nature of the staff. Listen, I know the bleeding effect is real, and accessing Demos's memory did affect me. But I've studied Isu artifacts. This is the last stage of my trials. When it's over, my DNA will be able to overcome the staff's control. Perhaps. But you won't see that through. My simulations are closed to you. I'm really sorry, Alithia. For everything up until now. You had such high hopes for me. I did, yes. But that was my own fault. I should never have let you go down this path. No, that's the thing. You were right. You saw something in me that... that I'd be the one to bring balance. And I still can if you let me. Even if I were to let you in, your doctor is dead. If I could take that back, I would. But I can't. And I have to keep going. From her calculations, your body wouldn't be able to withstand the simulations. My body is fine. The staff kept Cassandra alive for thousands of years. I've got a protection guarantee. Your mind is a different story altogether. You don't have the sense to see its degradation. When you break it down, this staff heals, Alethea. I could come out of this smarter. More in control. Invincible. That's quite a leap in logic. Just let me see for myself. Please. Go. Oh my god, thank you. You won't regret this. Here we go. I'll see you inside. Enough! No need to shout. This isn't your domain, brother. Hey, this has nothing left to offer you. You are never meant to stay here. Nor release you. You didn't belong in Gephalonia, and you didn't belong in Sparta. I can offer you a place you do belong. It's time you finally found it. Atlantis awaits. Anywhere is better than here. I won't forget this. There's no need for that here. You're safe. I've heard that before. This place isn't like any other you've been. There's no Persephone, no Hades. Just you. Just me. The Castis Vasilevs, the grand adjudicator of all Atlantis. But to you, I am Poseidon. What I'm offering you, Keeper of the Staff, is a place at my side. Join me as my guest is.
Welcome home. So you expect me to live among you? A home among gods? Gods? We are much more than the human conception of gods. Your father called us the ones who came before. But as Alithia told you, we are the issue. You know about my staff, Pythagoras, and Alithia? I'm starting to feel very watched. Your trials in both Elysium and the Underworld? No, your triumphs there are known to us. My trials forced me into rebellion. They made me face the dead. My hardships make me a good Dicastis? We don't always choose our path. But in this case, your blood shows for you. You possess both DNA strands. The best of humans and Isu. I have no doubt that you are our mutual future. It's an honor. Where do I start? Humans have five senses to understand the world around them. We have been blessed a sixth. Knowledge. Um... No! It is not merely your vision of the ego. The essence of that sense sleeps now. But it can be awoken in Atlantis. Your stuff is more than a key. It's a bridge between who you are now and who you must become. And if I fully awaken this sixth sense, I'll have mastered the staff? That and more! Come, let me show you. I accessed power sources in Elysium and the Underworld. They helped my knowledge, I think, but they haven't changed my senses. In Atlantis, you'll find the sources that awaken your new sense much more concentrated. Not only will your knowledge grow here, but it will thrive. You'll find three such sources once you leave this palace. You know them as Keeper's Insights. Doesn't look like anyone can get through. It's blocked to those who haven't full access to our knowledge. Find the source of that knowledge within this palace. Try to pass through once you do. Hello, Leila. Alithia? What are you doing in here? You need an intervention. I couldn't stop you physically, but perhaps I can make you understand through technical means. No, I've got this. Stay out of it. Strange, but it feels like the staff is becoming a part of me. I think I'm starting to understand. It's like I can feel Isu memories and hear their wisdom.
Now I know what you meant about the sources being more concentrated. I feel different. Many things are different here, the Castilles. You'll discover that in time. Atlantis awaits you. I have one rule that is absolute. Our technology cannot be used on my human civilians. Their bodies cannot withstand the power. The Isu know this above all. So, I'm free to go? What task should the Dicastis do first? Even Atlantis is not a perfect society. It yearns for balance. So be that balance. Then when your role as guide to the people is fulfilled, it may well be perfection. Don't worry. You've already earned my respect, which is a trial in itself. Dicastis, His Eminence Atlas humbly requests that you join him at his doma to discuss a matter of grave importance. Right. I'll make sure to stop by. His Eminence? This place has more kings than Sparta. You've arrived! I'm honored that the Castis would accept my humble request. Ah. You're Atlas, I take it. In the flesh. I thank you for coming to see me. I'm sure you're very busy. The burden my father gave you is not a light one. Your messenger told me it was urgent. Gravely urgent, indeed. Well, here I am. It's my brothers, the Archons. They have issues with the human populations under their control. Tensions between Isu and humans are mounting. Without order, the problems will grow severe. I'll try and use my position to help them where I can. Find Hadiros, Amphiris, and Azeas. Through your shining example, I hope they learn the valuable lessons in discipline they so desperately need. And if I help them, you're hoping it'll maintain the peace between Isu and humans. That's the plan. Poseidon should have known they weren't ready for the responsibility an Archon bears. But that's his failing. I'll find the Archons, and make sure their problems are taken care of. What have I missed? What must I do? Azais? You have your hands full. Vikastis, you're a welcome sight. The only one I've had in some time. So many sick. I'm surprised anything can spread in a place as advanced as this. It's shocking. Nothing I have tried will cure the sick or stop the pathogen spreading. I've lost so many already. Don't worry. We'll find a way to stop the sickness. Tell me what you need. Well, there was a device being worked on by a scientist named Consus. Its intention was to rapidly heal injuries and eradicate disease. Was? His device is missing. Scientists here have tried to replicate it based on the schematics, but it's still in the experimental phase. And it hasn't been tested on humans. So it may not work. That's not the biggest issue. Poseidon has outlawed the use of our technology on humans. I fear that if we don't act quickly, the pathogen will spread across Atlantis. If 
you think this healing device can help the sick, then I'll make sure that you have it. The wisdom of an issue, but the compassion of a human. You were a good choice for the Gustis. You'll find the device in one of the issue laboratories in the Consus archive. I've brought the, uh, glowing cloth you've asked for. It's a nanotech matter regenerator, in fact. But you have it. I can't believe it. Now then, let's see what this thing can do. What the fuck did you do? I thought I had calibrated correctly. Oh no, what have I done? I killed this poor human. The device doesn't work and you stole it against Poseidon's laws. What do we do now? This device is your only chance of stopping the sickness. You need to keep trying. Yes, you're right. Not trying will just mean more innocent lives are lost. I think if I make some adjustments, I can get it to function on humans correctly. Everyone seems to be looking much better. Well, almost everyone. The device still needs work, but it has incredible potential. Poseidon won't be happy that we broke his law, but I'm glad you were the one to do it and not me. In any case, I'm eternally grateful for your help. Thank you. That's one Archon helped. I hope they're not all this intense. <sighs> that must be Amphiris. Why so many guards? Let her pass. Amphiris, if this is how you treat humans, I can see why you need so many guards. These aren't humans. They are animals. An animal should be in cages. I'm sure everything you do isn't without reason. But if you didn't call them animals, you might get a better reaction. A human did this to me while I slept. When they came to kill me, I survived. But they slaughtered my daughter like an animal. Humans don't act with logic or reason. Good or bad, they are driven by a will to survive. A trait we implanted to ensure efficiency. But that will become a kindled flame of insurrection. You led a rebellion yourself in Elysium. So I know you understand. If we don't act, the city will burn and many more lives will be lost. I don't see an army marching on Poseidon. This one said they plan to launch an attack. Someone needs to destroy the resistance before that happens. That's not a small request. Despite what you think, all humans aren't a threat. It is the only path I see. But you are the Dicastis. Only you can choose the correct course of action. Killing people will just make the fire spread faster. Now, if we destroy their supplies and their weapons, they can't oppose the issue. I admire your optimism. 
But I fear it would not be enough. However, it's your decision to make. Just leave it to me. I'll send a message they won't forget. Very well. You'll find the traitorous humans at an abandoned farmstead. Return to me when the situation is resolved. Castis, I'm glad to see you return safely. I almost considered sending a regiment of my guard after you. That would have been overkill. You can never be too careful when dealing with violent humans. Come, tell me, has the resistance been quashed? I killed the leaders. With them gone, their movement is dead. Ah, a sound strategy. But I fear the problem exists at the heart of humanity itself. Another leader will rise eventually. I know you don't trust them, but the humans will never challenge the issue directly. You are like gods to them. You must see that. It is an illusion we have tried to nurture already. But it won't last. However, for now you've done what was needed. One more Archon to go. Maybe I should just do their jobs, too. An arena seems like a strange place to find an Archon. Ah, the Castis! Thank the stars! I was beginning to lose all hope! Atlas said you needed help. You don't understand the responsibility on my shoulders. It's my job to concoct entertainment for the masses. But I fear the crowd have grown bored of my grand spectacles. I've seen some good plays. And some bad ones. We need more than a simple play. If the audience leave my shows bored and restless, who knows what they'll start plotting? You think they'll become violent? My purpose is to keep them preoccupied so they can't be violent. Trying to distract people from their problems will only work for so long. I misspoke. I've seen what these humans are capable of, given the chance. I'm not distracting them, merely keeping them happy. So give the people what they want. What they want, yes. Yes, I can hear the cheers now! The legendary de Castis Cassandra takes on Atlantis's finest warriors! You must take part in my next event! Sounds like a Bangration. I can definitely help with that. Not exactly. But I was inspired by your efforts in Elise. I know you'll do an exemplary job entertaining the crowds as you did then. If we pull this off, we'll be the talk of the city! It's worth a try. show here in our beloved city. Tonight we have a very special guest. The Dicastis of Atlantis is here to entertain you. This is definitely not a Pangration. Our valiant hero's next challenge fast approaches. A champion bested by none in the city. No mercy, no guilt. Will this be too much for even the Dicastis to overcome?
The champion has been bested. Our mighty Vicastis is victorious and the crowd have spoken. But will she show mercy or will she spill the blood we want? If you don't appease the crowd, I fear what Gadiros will do. It was an honor to fight you, Dicastis. You don't deserve to die just for losing. Our merciful Vicastis has passed judgment. But do not dismay! Our champion lives to fight another day for you, the audience. And here we are, the end of today's event. Next to face our Dicastis' judgment, the very scum that taints our city. By the gods, what is this? For the good of Atlantis, today bear witness to the guilty and condemned given one final chance at redemption. They will be honored to die at the hands of our guest. Enough! I am not doing this. Mm. Uh, fear not, friends. We will make sure justice is delivered. Well, that was an unmitigated disaster. You said fight, so I fought. The problem is that I didn't say fight. I said be as entertaining as possible. This won't help the relations between your people. The humans will see what's going on eventually. The games have failed. The humans are restless, and it's only a matter of time before they make their own entertainment. Their hunger for violence is insatiable. You just need to keep surprising them. Think like a human, not an issue. That's what I tried to do. But you showed the criminals mercy, and the crowd reacted as I expected. Killing people who can't defend themselves isn't entertainment, it's slaughter. Their sacrifice helps us keep the peace and maintain order. Or it would have if you played along. What are you saying, Gadiros? That my grand experiment has failed. There's nothing left to be done but start again and try for better results. The arena must be cleared. This is madness. Dicastis, welcome back. I'm glad you could be here to witness this momentous occasion. Why are the Archons in chains? I invited my dear siblings here for one final lesson in leadership. It looks like an execution to me. Every experience in life should be a lesson, including death. You've been to the Underworld, so I know you understand what these fools do not. You asked me to help the Archons. I did. Their problems are solved. Their problems only existed because they couldn't perform the duties their roles demanded. You're going to murder your brothers? For what? For order. For peace. For Atlantis. For Atlas, you mean. I am the rightful heir to Atlantis. I should be the Vicastis. I cannot defy Poseidon's will, but these fools don't deserve their power. I'll be a better Archon in their stead. Once Poseidon finds out what you've done, he won't let you get away with it. That is our way. The way of progress. You are not one of us. I've seen your compassion to those who dwell in this city. Perhaps our ways are not as perfect as Poseidon thinks they are. Parents do what they think is best, but it doesn't mean they're always right. We have to look after each other, no matter what we're told. Wise, Dicastis. I respect your decision. For the moment. So what now? If you're going to one day rule the city, Cassandra, you're going to have to learn a very important lesson. That's what I get for helping you? A lecture?
Just some words of advice. Nothing in Atlantis is what it seems at face value. This city is old, and those that call it home are even older. You have helped me, Nikastis, and for that you have my thanks. This isn't over, Atlas. On the contrary, I'm done here. These devices are incredible. I almost feel like I can hear them speaking to me. The Castis. I heard you can help me with the solar floral regeneration project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles, an imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. The flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no. You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? Slow down. Why don't you just tell me what it is you need from me? Oh, apologies, Nikastis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overpicked them, and now the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of Triton. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes! And the Castis, taking care of our natural resources, would send a message to all of Atlantis. A good message, I hope. It looks like all the light beams need to hit that central structure. That must be the device Neocles mentioned. Reminds me of how I opened the door to Atlantis. First one down.
get the flowers growing in no time. Beautiful. That should do it. I'll tell Neocles it's done. <sighs> that doesn't seem good. What happened? I moved your light beams. Seem to be working, but then... The beams are aligned, yes, but the power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? Uh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. Oh no, something's wrong with the photons? Uh, are you making fun of me? Who doesn't know what photons are? Just me and the rest of the Greek world. N never mind the photons. When my enhanced source powers the device, it should... Oh. Unless the light is not progressing from the source, rendering it unenhanced. So the next step is... Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of imperial... <sighs> it's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'll go see if this rock is there. Looks like Neocles was right. There is no rock here. <gasps> hey! Stop right there! Get back here! Oh, Malaka! Must be in here somewhere. Maybe if I move some things around. <laughs> What's 
the Dicastis doing running around here? I'm chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Neoclis' rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Neoclis has no claim to a natural power source like this. That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dicastis and you have no idea what the power source is? Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Put the rock in Neoclis' device, and we'll fix the flowers. This isn't Neoclis' first attempt at population balancing. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers. When he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. Neocles needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. When will you accept your hypothesis has failed? Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you. You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Dicastis, it should be your decision. The project Neoclis is working on is important for the future of Atlantis. Hand over the rock. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you. This will propel Atlantis' sustainability forward by centuries. All those cynics like Melita will see the progress eventually. Just be careful. It sounds like your theory could still use some work. This is the right course of action for all of Atlantis, Dicastis. Trust me. Please, do me the honor of returning the stone to the device. Gardens will be healed in no time. The gardens seem to be thriving. With wildlife. The one who holds the staff has no choice but to face both immediate and future consequences for lifetimes. That takes responsibility. I hear you, Alethea. You may think I'm crazy, but at least I'm accountable. That's the murderer! Murderer? I didn't do it! Want to tell me what that was all about? No. I'll be fine. The Castis! You can make this all go away! My name is Lyra, and you're... you! You've helped so many people. You're amazing and wonderful and powerful and... And you're here! Thank you. That's nice of you. You deserve all the praise and more. They called you a murderer. You don't seem the type, but as the Castis, I have to be sure. They're sure I'm responsible for what happened to that poor family. They said it's like the other murders, but I couldn't leave with myself, I swear. Please. Please clear my name. 
I'll find out what really happened. Just point me in the direction of the attack. Just down the road. Uh, not too far from here. If I were you, I'd hide until I return. Oh, good idea. Thank you. You truly are a great de Castis. So what happened? Is this about what happened last night? How do you know? It's all everyone's talking about. And if the Tijastis is here, you must be looking into it. If you saw or heard anything, I need to know. I saw it from the distance. Heard it too. Its howl will never leave my mind. You saw a wolf? Beast is more like it. If you see it, run! I'll be careful. Ah, the great Ligastis. What did I do to deserve a visit? I'm looking into the attack that happened nearby last night. Ah, of course. I thought that was meant to be handled already. You mean the mob harassing that woman? I I've said enough. I understand your hesitation, but I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. I'll make sure whoever or whatever did this is punished. You've already met the guilty one. Lyra? You agree with the mob? Of course I do. I'm the one who told them it was her. I saw her last night, bloody and in a frenzy. It was dark. How do you know it was her? I know what I saw. His footprints struck the blood out of the house. Whoever murdered them left this way. These aren't stamp wounds. They're claw marks. This bloodied cloth doesn't match the mother or daughter's robes. It must have come off the murderer. I should return to Lyra and let her know what I found. Did you find out what happened? The evidence I found was conflicting. Tell me. Two people saw what happened. One woman heard a wolf howling. But a man said he saw you, covered in blood and leaving the family's house. He's lying! Or mistaken. It was dark, so it could have been anyone. There's more. The killing blows weren't made by a weapon. Then by what? It almost looked like claw marks. And then there was this piece of cloth. It didn't match the clothes of anyone there. That's... that's mine! How did it get there? Someone wants me to look like I was responsible. Tell me the truth, Dicastis. Drop the act. You killed them. You're not serious. What about how they died? I don't have claws! The marks could have been made from animals that smelled the bodies and came to feed. But the howl! Means nothing, except there was a wolf nearby. You were supposed to prove I was innocent. Don't you know what they do to human murderers? They send them to the arena. I won't let you take me! We need to go after Lyra before she hurts someone else.
It was me. What am I? I've seen this before. A minotaur, cyclops, a horgon. All were humans possessed by powerful issue devices. The only way I could stop them was by killing them. But you're able to change back. Somehow you're different. I don't remember coming here. Or why? If I had to guess, that side of you knew it was caught. Maybe it thought coming out here was the only choice it had. That side of me. I've had dreams lately of being in a bright room, tied down, pain throughout my body. But now, I think that all really happened. I did kill them then. I don't remember it, but it was me, wasn't it? If you knew you would harm people again, and you could never control yourself, never stop, would you? Would I what? Jump? Of course I wouldn't. But you accused me of killing that family, and you were right. You have to understand, that wasn't the real you. It is. And you said the only way you could beat this before was by killing. I also said you were different. Whether I remember it or not, it's a part of me. It did terrible things. It's only one part of you. It's not all of you. I know what it's like to be part human and part something else. Trust me, you can live with his burden. I'm not as strong as you are. Look at yourself. Yes, you are. You're stronger than you think. Plus, I've been thrown off a cliff before. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, but you're still here. I am. And you are too. You're right. Now that I know what's inside of me, I can do something about it. And I know who can help. Thank you. <sighs> I hope she'll be okay. Picasso's over here. Quick, follow me. And trust a stranger? I'm no stranger. I'm El Peace, and I've been watching you. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> I'll drop the cloak and dagger. I've been training to become like you, but training isn't enough. You're more than a warrior. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. I thought they preferred Isu in Atlantis. The Isu may as well be the divine with how they rule. Cold, calculating, indifferent to the people milling beneath them. But it's not just Isu blood that makes you special, is it? There's something else. Well, you tell me. I'm talking about this, your spear. Showing off for me, are you? Just a little. <laughs> are you impressed? You're strangely charming. For a thief. Flattering. But we have business to attend to, the Castis. So, what do you want from me? I'm involved with Atlas. He is afraid of taking the relationship public. He says his enemies would exploit me as his weakness, so he keeps me a secret. Wait. You're in love with Atlas? From my experience, I'm not sure Isu men truly love. Nevertheless, I need to make him see that I can be his strength. Our partnership might be a key to bridging the gap between Isu and humans. Your love is strategic. If we take the relationship public, we could marry and I could rule the district by his side, influence policy and ease the tension between the two groups. But so long as I am merely human, 
It can never be. That's why I want to be like you. It would be nice to have another ally in Atlantis. What's your plan? At the Adamant Metalon, they harvest a metal used to create devices just like your spear. My spear is the strongest metal ever forged. Could this be used to forge other weapons? Well, Adamant ingots could. But what I need is raw Adamant. I know the one who can forge it for me. The Atlas can't suspect what I'm up to, so make sure you're not seen. He doesn't know about this? I'll tell him the truth when the time is right. Please, hurry back. And this is interesting. That's the adamant metal on Elpis told me about. She said I should get the raw adamant without being seen. I should stay hidden if I don't. <laughs> I'll bring this to Elpis. It's reacting with my staff somehow. Almost like they were meant to be together. Oh. Raw adamant, as promised. Nice to see that you're as skilled as you look. I'm making the right choice to become more like you. You seem fine to me. I don't know why you're trying to change. Just as you were destined to be the Castiz, I am destined for this. I just know it. Atlantis isn't worthy of the type of change you're hoping to bring if they can't accept you as you are. Like most great politicians, I'm ahead of my time. That means I need to do something drastic if I'm going to push Atlantis forward for humans. Still, all you have is raw adamant. Until I take it to a skilled blacksmith so he can forge an Isu device from the adamant. Well, you know where to find the Castis when you need her. The foraging shouldn't take too long. I'll meet you near the Dome of Atlas when it's done. Then we can proceed to the next phase of my plan. and the stuff begins.
almost hear my staff's thoughts. I wonder if he can hear mine. Now that I have the Isu device forged, we need to move quickly. You distract Atlas while I sneak into his private chambers. More sneaking. After Poseidon outlawed human experiments, Atlas confiscated a device and kept it. That device theoretically could add a third helix to my DNA. I've seen what these Isu devices can do. It's not pretty. The science is sound. And I've even found evidence of tests being done on humans that looked promising. In previous cycles, of course, before Poseidon outlawed experimentation. Just tell Atlas the truth. You have good intentions. If he's afraid of his enemies hurting me now, what will he think of me undergoing this procedure? Besides, he can't break Poseidon's law. I'm not sure a good Dicastis goes behind the back of an Atlantean Archon. I've been preparing for this my entire life. Don't worry. Just keep Atlas talking while I'm in his chambers. <laughs> I don't think we have anything in common. What are we supposed to talk about? The weather? Atlas is a jealous lover. And he's already threatened by your role as Dicastis. Why not play to that advantage? Whatever you do, don't mention my plans. Great. This will do wonders for our relationship. Everyone knows it's lonely at the top, Dicastis. Let's go. I've studied this science extensively. Once I impart Isu DNA into my body, I should be able to use the device with outside effects. It's the should that worries me. Remember, whatever you do, don't reveal my political plans to Atlas. Could trick Atlas into thinking you and I are closer than we are. Are we not close? What's there to trick? You know what I mean. Yes. Making Atlas envious would certainly be a good distraction. Elpis! What are you doing here? With her, no less. The Dicastis and I were just taking a stroll, and I remembered I left a book on Atlantean cyclical history here. She'd like to borrow it. Do you mind if I fetch it? I... Uh, no. Do you need me to help you look for it? No, no. You two stay here. I'm sure you have much to discuss. Elpis wouldn't have anything to do with why you were sneaking around the adamant metalon, would she? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure by now Elpis has told you about the nature of our relationship. She's hardly as discreet as I'd like her to be. What business do you have with her? What? Is Elpis not allowed to have friends? Of course she can have friends. But I suspect there's more going on here. You have nothing to worry about, Atlas. I have no schemes against you. Maybe you don't play games. But Elpis lives for them. I can tell when she's up to something. Don't talk about Elpis that way. She's not manipulative. She's passionate. So you do care for her then? You don't talk about Elpis like you love her. And you're not speaking of her as if you're merely her casual acquaintance. The truth is, Elpis and I are in love. What? Ah! Ah! What? What have you done? I'm not weak anymore, Atlas. I can rule Atlantis at your side. This is your doing. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're trying to revolt against the issue with hybrids! No! What did you do? I didn't mean to. He was going to kill you! Ah, it seems my brother finally got his due. Was this your judgment, Thigastis? I killed Atlas. It wasn't my intention. I... You hoped to rule by his side to ease the conflict between humans and Isu. He wasn't as supportive of my dreams as I would have hoped. I support you. You can assume his role as you see fit. I will handle Poseidon and my brothers. Thank you, Azais. You can't be more corrupt than Atlas. An Atlantis can't fear progress if it hopes to pass this cycle. Atlantean politics are even more dramatic than in the Greek world. What will you do now? I'm not the first Atlantean ruler to take power by force. If the Isu can do it, why not me? Still, I didn't want to start my reign this way. You started your reign by saving my life. Normally, I do the saving. I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you, Thikastis. Peace will make a better ruler than Atlas. She certainly can't do any worse. Oh. It looks so peaceful from up here. It always does, but it never is. I know, Icarus. I'm tired too. I've met so many people. Harkons, kings, and now Isu. They're all the same. Go do this. Bring me that. Go kill him. I don't know if I can do this anymore. If I were ruler, things would be much, much different. What's that, Ikaros? A speech from your new ruler? <clears throat> Atlanteans! Tonight, we tear off these clothes and make love. I wonder what Alcibiades is doing these days. <laughs> or who? Who is Alcibiades? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the Digastis' speech. Eh. It was more of a fantasy, really. Call me Cassandra. I thought it was wonderful, Dicastis Cassandra. <laughs> Just Cassandra is fine. And what's your name? Alcon. You're even more special than all the bedtime stories my... parents used to tell me. What's wrong? My parents are missing. They left for their assignments, but they never came home. The Isu won't help me. But then I remembered the story of you helping a lost girl in the underworld, who found her parents in Elysium. So I came to you. Her name was Phoebe. We were good friends. She's in a better place now than when I found her. She was lucky to have a friend like you. I could always make a new friend. Maybe you, Alcon. And I could help you. Would you like that? More than anything! You said your parents never came home. If you could tell me where they're assigned and what their names are, it would be very helpful. Mato's name is Rene. She's assigned to the harbor. Pater is called Damadis, and he's assigned to the adamant quarry. You're very brave. Now, go home where it's safe. I'll go talk to the harbor master and whoever is in charge of the quarry. I'll come find you once I have some answers.
the Castis. Have you come to analyze the recently discovered coral permutations fastened to the hulls of our vessels? Uh, no. I'm looking for a woman named Rini. Uh, yes, well, that is a subject I have absolutely zero authority in, I'm afraid. I cannot help you. Her son is very worried. Please, uh, do not asphyxiate me! What are you doing? I like humans, and I liked Rini. Poor Alcon. But if they hear me talking to you, they'll kill me. Tell me where she is, or I'll cut you! Oh, I told you, I, I don't know anything! You'll find my contact not far from here, but be careful. A trap has been set for you. You have made the Castis very angry! Thank you. Please don't tell Poseidon! You have compassion, the Castis. You may be the only one who can calm the brewing storm between humans and Isu. Harbor Master was right. They're waiting for me. I'd hate to disappoint them. Get back here! <laughs> <laughs> This an honor. How'd you get past my guards? I'm looking for the Madis. And why would the great Vikastis be looking for missing humans? I never said he was missing. Very clever. Hybrid. When my humans transport adamant to the experimentation chamber, they don't always return. Occasionally they fall through the cracks, like rats. A little boy is worried about his father. Just tell me where this experimentation chamber is. Your compassion for humans is unproductive. Your hatred for humans is self-destructive. <sighs> Fine. It's in the garden of Kimopolia. But you're wasting your time. The doors are locked. Then I'll just have to find the key. You can try, hybrid. You know, treating humans like vermin will get you killed one day. Consider yourself lucky I'm not making that day today. Cassandra, did you find matter and batter? Not yet. But I know they were taken to some sort of experimentation chamber by an issue named Zarios. Zarios? But he was always so kind to us. He gave us food and defended us when the others called us rats. Do you know where I could find him? The doors to the chamber are locked and he's my last hope of getting in. He's usually at the fortified Doma of Miniseas, but he's always protected by guards. That never stops me.
looks like the one Atlas gave me. Maybe it can help me get into the experimentation chamber. Looks like the perfect place to hide missing humans. Locked. But I think I know what opens this. The more complicated the key, the bigger the secret. really doesn't want any visitors. that. Show yourself! My name is Aita. I am a scientist, and in many ways, these are my children. You created the Minotaur, the Cyclops, the Riding Dread. They're monsters. Are we not all monsters? Imperfect beings striving towards our ultimate potential. Is that not why you're here? I'm here because a little boy's parents are missing, and all signs point to you. How very human. Don't worry, I'm getting everyone out of here. Didn't anyone teach you it's cruel to lie? What? What's cruel is abducting and experimenting on these people. Without sacrifice, there can be no progress. Without experimentation, there can be no perfection. You're breaking Poseidon's law. I am advancing knowledge for the betterment of Atlantis. Poseidon's lack of vision keeps us in darkness. But we are close. 
so very close. Humans are not animals to be caged and tortured. We created them to serve us. That is their sole purpose. Let these people go. It's too late for them. Project Olympos has already begun. One human escaped before the transformation was complete, and lives were lost. This won't happen again. Surely you understand. So, you've seen the beast she becomes. I'm getting these people out of here. But, don't you want to know what's behind this door? All right, I'll play. Tell me. Why tell you, when I can show you? Just know, to enter the chamber is to forfeit their lives. You cannot have both. What if I just killed you, set these people free, and broke through your stupid door? <laughs> you can't kill me, Cassandra. I can see you're struggling. What if I told you the greatest achievement in Atlantis is behind that door? And that we owe that achievement to you? What are you talking about? Through there is a path to immortality. For you. For us. Embrace your legacy. Forget these miserable humans. Abandon morality and the answers to all your questions are just beyond that door. Please! Save us or we'll die! You will be reborn! Don't you want to know why you're really here? Free the people and this door will remain closed to you forever. Pass through, however, and it will lock behind you. These rats will be mine. What will it be, the Gustis? Their lives? Or your destiny? Fuck your door. I promised a little boy I'd bring his parents home, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. <sighs> Very disappointing. No matter. If there are two things Atlantis has in ample supply, it is adamant and humans. Come on, let's get out of here. Thank you, the Christies. I'll get to see Alcon again. Hurry! How can we ever repay you? Tell your son if an issue ever calls him a rat again, because this Cassandra will deal with them personally. Poseidon lied to me. They've been experimenting on humans this whole time. The Gastes has returned. I can only presume you've delivered judgment to Atlantis. You said you outlawed experimentation on humans. All of it was lies. The issue are out of control. What are you talking about? My laws are absolute, and by them all must abide. I have declared it. Your laws have done nothing. People are suffering under your rule, and you don't even realize it. No one would have the audacity to disobey me. Surely this is a mistake. You should listen to her, you know. Shildo. Impossible! You're forbidden from entering the city. Guards! Your guards respect your sons. And when you appointed that hybrid as your dicastis, 
Your sons turned to us. Even my sons know better than to bow to a warmonger! The humans are bringing war whether we want it or not, Poseidon. They should after what you've done. You mean what they've forced us to do. Poseidon worries about the sun and his solar floral regeneration project. Catastrophe is coming for us. On that we agree. But there is only one catastrophe. Humanity. When I got here, Poseidon said I was where I belonged. Someone tell me why I'm really here, now! Such sadness. She's even more human than I expected. Eta, answer her. Gladly. In you, we found opportunity. Imagine the possibilities if we duplicated your hybrid form. We could employ our technology to control your mind. You, hybrid, can be used to craft Juno's ultimate weapon. Or rather, you could have been. My husband's experiment was promising, but after observation, we've decided you are a failure. Our new weapon is far deadlier than you could ever be. The Ekatohires. Aida, you didn't. I did. The Ekatohires will rise. Project Olympos will strike fear so deeply into the hearts of humanity, they would never consider revolt. And you will declare my husband the Dikastis Vasilevs. Dikastis, stop this. If they are successful, we are doomed. All of us. You have to trust me. You, deal with these two. I'll find a way to stop their plans. Too late. The procedure was already a success. The Ekatohires lives. Can't you hear him stir? <sighs> you did this in my laboratory under the palace. Entrance was barred when I outlawed human experimentation. What is that sound? Is that your weapon? I will bring justice to these two. But I need you to stop the Ekatohires before it kills us all. Go! Get too close.
Remarkable. You really are the greatest of the humans and of my people. Where is Juno and Eta? Imprisoned. For now. But they will not stop. The issue. They're all crazed. They must all pay. And what would that prove? That you're as cruel as Juno and her husband? I don't intend to prove anything. I intend to stop this, and save those that suffered because of your hubris. So in the end, you brought judgment to Atlantis after all. Very well, Gastis. Do you still have Cerberus's device? I didn't tell you everything about your stuff. It is a bridge between your two selves. But by coupling it with the powers of the devices you retrieved from the Cerberus and the Gatohires, we can end Atlantis' cycle forever. I wasn't just awakening my sixth sense. I was unlocking the power to destroy the entire city. In the wrong hands, the staff has the power to destroy everything. That is why you, and only you, could be its keeper. You said it yourself. Juno and Aita will never stop. I've seen those laboratories, the experiments in them. There is only one way to end the suffering here. Destroy this place. My one wish is that I had more time to learn from you. In time, I may have learned to be more human. Here, Poseidon. Keeper of the staff, your trials are over. Back in the throne room. Tell me, now that you have seen the fate of Atlantis, how do you feel? With the staff, I hold the power to destroy an entire city. 
Which is why you were given the ability to control that power. Only in your hands will the destructive potential of the staff remain hidden. So what was all this? What you have experienced are echoes of memories. Distorted, but no less real. Whose memories? These two. Some were even my own. In my time as Dicastis, I also tried to bring balance to Atlantis, but it wasn't enough. You? And now you. I'm ready to leave. You coming? We are entwined after all. You saw Persephone rule through order, Hades through chaos, and even had a taste of being a ruler yourself in Atlantis. It was a disaster. You have seen there is no path to power for the Keeper. In the Staff, you have the ability to bring this world to its knees, but that is not your role. You must use your strength to restrain the power of the Staff, to guard it, to keep. My mother once told me I was sent by the gods to protect this world. I gave her my word. And now, I give my word to you. And what of your word, heir of memories? You must wake up and redeem yourself before it's too late, or it will be you who tears this world apart. Now wait! The interloper has found you! Wake! Now! No! Where are you? Talking to yourself, Layla Hassan? Clearly, the Isu artifact has had quite the effect on you. You're going mad. Mr. Berg, you finally showed up. Most impressive. I knew if anyone could discover this place, it was you. But you left Abstergo before you could be assigned this mission. Sigma-6 found it just fine after you tapped into our comm signal. We know it was you. Correct. What you don't know is that I've been listening in for much longer. Ever since you found the Book of Herodotus, from Templar research I'm sure you stole. You're a real Yahomar, so This is over. Indeed. The world outside is coming to its inevitable end. Whose side you're on won't matter anymore. Come. Hand over the staff. It does matter. I'll always be an assassin. And if you want the staff, you're gonna have to take it from me. First Victoria, now me. Admit it, you can't handle the power of the artifact. My favorite thing about the staff? Don't clutch. It's the immortality. <laughs> Petty to the end. The thing is, Mr. Berg, I don't care if you live or die. You just gotta get out of my way. <clears throat> Face it. Templar's lost. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2, come in! Atlantis has been compromised. My legs... 
Alethea? Alethea! Okay, think, Layla. Your comms are broken. How do you get help? Without you, I try to hide it, but I, I'm scared. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm alone. I need you. Please, come back. Send me a sign, at least. Anything. Your earpiece. Can anyone hear me? Victoria, uh, we've been trying to find a way to force communication. First, we've lost everyone's vitals, and Elena. then... It's me. Layla? Uh, how? This is Victoria's channel. Where is she? What's been happening down there? Did you finish the trials? Yes, we had the staff. I finished our trials, but... That's incredible! An actual Isu artifact in assassin control. This changes everything. I'm not in control, Elena, and nothing's changed. Also, Berg is the interloper. He's in the throne room with me. Look, I'll explain everything, but the Templars know what we're doing, and they're after us. I need you to get me out of here. With you? Uh, are you safe? We fought. He passed out, but he's stable. Please, don't make me check on him. You didn't... kill him? No. He's still alive. Sit tight, Layla. We're coming for you, but it might take time. What are you gonna do? Until you get here, I'm going back into the Animus. There are a lot of people to say goodbye to. Thank you. 